Hey, what's up guys? Your boy is Pilot 2K7 back for another Grand Photo 5 real life mod video. Today we're going to be doing a towing episode. It has been a while and we are going to be using our new heavy duty tow truck. So I really do hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video guys. So we're here at our tow truck garage and uh, we just got a report from CHP that they have a burn, I believe it's a Kenworth, a burn Kenworth and trailer. Apparently it, it hit another vehicle, it went up in flames and a crazy situation. But we're going to go ahead and try to recover it. I'm not sure how badly it's burnt, so once we get over there we're going to have to try to assess the situation. Hopefully we could just tow the truck and a trailer with our Peterbilt Heavy Wrecker here. If you guys have not seen this video or this truck yet, definitely let me know what you guys think about it. This is a custom Peterbilt uh, tow truck wrecker built by Bagged and um, huge shout outs to Bag for this and also Billy J for putting the awesome textures on this. So let's go ahead and get today's episode started. We're gonna go ahead and unfreeze that. And as you can see, we already have it warming up here. We got our uh, caution lights on. And um, yeah, this, got, this is a working tow truck, guys. Everything on it works. And um, yeah, I don't wanna waste too much time. So let's go ahead and head inside. We, we kind of have to come in this way to get out if you guys are new to the series. So let's head inside really quickly. And let me just talk to our secretary. I just want to confirm where exactly I'm picking up this truck. Let's head in the office really quickly. What's up, guys? What up, what up? All right, where's that, uh, where's that burn, Kenworth? Let's see. She's giving us the information. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be here on the highway, right over there. Okay. All right, so that shouldn't take us too long to get to. Uh, we didn't have to really jump on the highway. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. All right, guys, so we have the information. I have some of my guys already on scene as well with some of the smaller tow trucks. They're um, recovering the vehicle that the truck hit or whatever. So I guess we'll see them once we get over there. All right, let's hop in. Let's turn on these lights. And I'll turn off the caution lights for now because we don't really need them on. And let's roll. Just enough space to get out there. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get on the road. We got about a mile and a half to go. Shouldn't take us too long. But yeah, guys, hope you guys are have, all having an awesome day. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Welcome back to the channel. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. This is actually gonna be our first real tow as well. Uh, we did we did a practice tow with this thing, but this is gonna be our first like paid tow. So that should be good. And again, it's going to be CHP that's calling us out today, so we got to make sure we perform well if we want them to keep using us as the preferred vendor. Hey, it looks like we're missing traffic lights for some reason. <laughs> that's all good. Alright guys, so we are arriving on scene. It should be right on this entrance ramp to the Los Santos Freeway. Gonna turn our lights on. And yep, here it is guys. Alright, so they got this whole right lane closed. I'm gonna try to just squeeze my way in through these cones. No! 
There we go. Alright, so we got a CHP on scene. Looks like we have the fire department EMSs here. Oh shoot, they got the, the whole freeway closed down there as well. Uh oh. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and pull right up front and let's see what is going on here. Oh, there goes my other tow truck driver right there. He got on scene before me. Whoa. Okay, guys, this is not looking good at all. Alright, I'm going to pull to the side and try to figure out what exactly happened and how we're going to properly fix this situation here. This is looking crazy. I think the other vehicle that was involved in the accident is that vehicle on the uh, wrecker right up there. So, let's see what's going on. How you guys doing? Damn, this is looking crazy. Alright, so it looks like... This whole thing obviously burnt up. It looks like the tires popped off and everything from the flames, so that's just crazy. So we're definitely going to have to tow it. But it looks like it's hanging over two to three lanes of the freeway um, eastbound. And then kind of, it's not really hanging over the westbound lanes, but I see they did block off the westbound lanes just in case. So, um, yeah, this is going to be crazy, guys. It's going to be our first heavy-duty uh, tow with our new wrecker and this is gonna be a big one guys So let's first just confirm that the kingpin is still intact and everything is still connected properly And we're gonna have to try to drag this whole thing over so it doesn't fall and then try to tow it out of here But I think we're gonna be able to tow it though. Everything looks good Dang guys look at this. Thank God this thing did not fall if this would have fell Man this would have been a lot worse all right, so that um, then that whole passenger side is about six feet over the edge. All right, this is crazy. All right, um, all right, let's just let's just start rigging it. All right, I'm gonna back up and let's grab some chains, some straps, and we're just gonna try to we're just gonna try to pull it over first. Okay, all right. Damn, this is crazy, guys. All right, here we go. So fire and rescue are going to stand by uh, while we attempt to do this since this is kind of dangerous here. A lot of things could go wrong. Alright, so let's back up. Alright, I'm thinking if we could like possibly pull it like from right here maybe. Actually, I want to move over just a little bit more. Yeah, I think I think this should be good right here. All right, so let's grab these chains and let's start rigging this thing up. It's gonna be a crazy one, guys. All right, so he's rigging everything up again. This is like extremely dangerous because it truck is really just being held up by this one piece of concrete right there so I'm just trying to watch him as he rigs everything up and looks like we are good all right so let's go ahead and get up and let's go ahead and get this thing stabilized and attached all right so let's get our truck ready so we're going to go here All right, so I'm gonna put that down, and we're also gonna put those down to help support us. And we're just gonna try to pull it straight over, and hopefully this will work here. All right, here we go. All right, guys, as you can see, we now have our lines connected to the truck, and we're gonna try to pull it right in. I'm just gonna pull up that tow bar just a little bit. All right, guys, so let's try to pull this in. All right, guys, so we're having a little bit of technical difficulties here. For some reason, it's not letting me pull it over with the winch, so I'm just going to have to pull forward. I know that's a little bit unrealistic, but only thing we could do here. So we're going to carefully try to pull forward. Okay. All right, I'm going to try to pull it one more time with the winch. All 
Yeah, it's just not pulling it. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just do it ourselves. Dang, it's... It's still getting caught on that uh, piece of concrete there, but I think we're just going to have to pull it out, honestly. Alright guys, so let's just get out and inspect everything one more time. Alright, so we definitely cleared it and we got it onto the road. That's one of the most important things. So we kind of eliminated the risk of this thing falling so they could go ahead and start opening up those lanes for the highway. So now, let's try to just see if we could get this thing towed. So. We're going to go ahead and connect all the airlines, uh, see if we could get the underreach under there, lift it up, get the forks in, chain it down, all our safety chains, and then we should be out of here in a couple minutes. Now, in real life, it will probably take us like 10 minutes or 15 or even 20 minutes, but you know, this is Grand Theft Auto, so it's literally, it's literally done in like 30 seconds. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and lift. Okay, perfect. So again, let's check everything out one more time, make sure we chain it down. Oh, okay. Alright, so he's making sure everything's attached. We're gonna lower it down. That wasn't supposed to go up that high. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got the truck hooked up. Uh, my partner, he's pretty much has his load ready to go as well, so we'll, we'll actually follow him back to our shop. Alright, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and follow him there, guys. Take a look at that, guys. That looks awesome. All right, so we got about a mile and three quarters to go, and we'll be back at our shop here. <laughs> Looks like my partner is going through all the red lights, and I don't blame him because the game is kind of twitching out right now, and there are no red lights. So again guys, I do apologize about not having no lights. So I'll make sure we get that fixed for the next episode. But good thing is we don't have to stop at any red lights now. One thing I noticed, these lights always turn off. I always turning them back on.
Alright guys, so we're almost back at the shop, and that was a pretty good tow. Alright guys, so we're basically back at the shop. Alright guys, so we are back to the shop, and we got two. Got the car, got the trailer. I guess we, we can say we got three, because we got the semi and the trailer. Alright guys, so we are here. I'm going to leave this thing parked outside for now until we figure out what insurance wants to do with it. And um, I'll see what they want to do with the trailer as well. But that was a pretty good job, I would say. Alright, so let's go ahead and start lowering this thing down. Detach from it. I will pull forward. Alright, so let's take this thing inside, and that is gonna do it for this episode, guys. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this episode. Really do hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the Peterbilt Heavy Duty Wrecker. And we also used our flatbed slash rollback over there. So that was pretty cool. And um, yeah guys, let me know what you guys would like to see in the next episode. We have a ton of different trucks. So let me know which one you guys want me to use next. But yeah guys, thank you for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.